Hi everyone, this is Chris here with My Old House Fix. Today let's talk paint scrapers. You love them, but you hate to use them. So today we're going to show you a few paint scraper types and their uses to make your old house life just a little bit easier. But first, how do you know which paint scraper type to use? Because there are literally dozens of them. So follow me, we'll go get our hands dirty on a few and go take a look. Come on, let's go. Okay guys, you can see we have two groups here. On the left, we have just standard metal scrapers, stainless steel. Uh, these are not carbide. The left three are from speed heater. And, and so they're just made out of regular, regular steel. A little easier to sharpen is a pro. The cons are they do get dull a little easier. But compared to the carbide, which are all from here over, these are all carbide, except for that one. The carbides stay sharper longer, but the con is that you can't sharpen them, so once the blade gets dull, you have to throw this little blade away here. One other thing I like about the speed heater scrapers, at least with these two, are when you're scraping, scraping softening paint, once it's softened up from the speed heaters, you have a nice thick blade here for the paint to evacuate, where these here tend to get a little bit clogged up because there's only a little angle of the blade here. And therefore it tends to get clogged up under this edge and then it just glides across and leaves it smeared. These three here uh, are usually used with the speed heater, as you can see here. If you guys are familiar with the Cobra of the 1100, so I do recommend, and it's not just because they're speed heater scrapers, but for some reason, uh, due to the handle, they have a really good ergonomic handle, they have a really thick blade, and these work really well with the speed heaters compared to any of these others. I don't mess with any of these other scrapers when using the speed heater, only the clapboard scraper or this scraper for the profiles, for crown molding, things like that. So really, these, they just have a thick blade, they don't flex at all. These are really good for softened paint with the speed heater, and they cut really aggressively, and I'll show you. Because there's basically two different types of scraping, right? If you're scraping and stripping this here, you'll either heat it up with infrared heat, or you will dry scrape it. And we'll show you here in a minute how dry scraping goes. You've seen some of the demos we've done with the speed heater and the speed heater Cobra, softens it up, kind of like bubble gum off your shoe, comes off really easy, but dry scraping is a different story, and usually I use carbide with dry scraping only. Speed heater scrapers again for the softened up paint, and if I'm doing any dry scraping, it's usually carbide because it's so hard to do. So let's get started and show you uh, just a couple little examples here. So like I said, we have the regular steel scrapers here, speed heater, all these are carbide. And there are two differences too when you're dry scraping. So here we're going to show you where we've been dry scraping. And here's what happens when you're dry scraping. The reason I don't like regular steel is, especially with the larger surface area, they don't stay as sharp. Not as sharp as carbide. They have a bigger surface area. So always remember the larger surface area that you have, the sharper that you're going to need your blade and the more effort it's going to take to scrape this surface. So I'll kind of show you right here. It comes off pretty good, but if you notice, the floor has a dip in it. And so it's scraping here and here, and it's not scraping here. So this can be a little bit of a problem. You know, I could get a lot of weight on it. It did strip the outside and the inside, but it's not optimal. So let's try the wide carbide and see what happens. You know, again, it has a smaller blade since your dry scraping comes off in smaller pieces and not the big chunks that the speed heater does. It's not so bad with the dry scraping because all the scrapings kind of go away. It doesn't clog up. See, that doesn't work too bad. 
but again the floor has a little bit of a dip in it where it's been sanded before so it's not stripping the middle here so once you've kind of hit the wide areas with your scraper what I like to do is come back and I know you guys have seen it before this is my favorite little Baco one inch triangle scraper I love this thing even when we stripped our house all the clapboard on the house I would come back once you would scrape all the paint off there'd be a little bit of glaze left on it and this works really well to get down in some little crevices and things and also it's narrower so again remember we were talking about the wider surface area of the blade takes a lot more pressure and a lot more energy to remove the paint off of it or whatever you're stripping the small one can actually be faster even though it's slower because it has less of a bite so it takes off the paint quicker and as you'll see right here I'm gonna take the rest of this off that the wide one didn't get you know one because there's less surface area two, the boards a little bit dipped and this will get in all the inconsistencies that the flat one won't get because it's you know kind of like a straight edge so the straight it scrapes it but if your wood is not perfectly straight it won't take it all off so let's show you here see how quick I took that off okay so as you can see here's where we scraped a minute ago you can see where it hit the outside and the inside with the wide blade but you can see how quick a minute ago we just stripped this whole piece with the one inch baco so again, you know, it's really quick, right? Because there's less surface area. It strips it really quick. So, in a nutshell, the wide ones are really good for the speed heater. And if you're dry scraping, you know, maybe flaky paint, the carbide works really good. But on some of these small applications, it's really hard to beat this one. I know it's a little bit slow, so if you're heating it up, hit it with your wide one. If not, use your small one here for dry scraping. You know, this will take a little bit off. We'll show you again. And see, that was just six runs there. I just went across it six times. Due to that wider blade, it just takes a lot more energy to get it off. We'll show you again, see how it can be quicker. And there you go. So that's just an overview of the speed heater scrapers, steel. I haven't tried this uh, eight-way yet. This is a new eight-way scraper from Speed Heater. I've been trying to find a good application for it. It's kind of like the carbide one here on flat surfaces. It does okay, about like the carbide. But as you can see, what I just stripped here, you can do it in about the same time that you can do it with the one inch Baco triangle. So that's on flat surfaces. We did the dry scraping with the small one here. So this will get in all your little imperfections, all your dips, if your boards are warped, if they're cupped, this is good to get the rest of the glazing out once you knock the top off with your flat scrapers. So we've shown you the dry scraping with the carbide and with the steel scrapers here. Again, you know, if you're using a speed heater, I would definitely, 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 you will definitely see better results with these two versus trying to scrape with, say, this carbide if you're using a speed heater. So definitely have some blades where the paint can clear out on its own. These work a lot better. You'll get 50% better results with these over your standard scrapers with the speed heater but you're probably wondering now okay what about trim so on trim you may have a piece of crown molding 
or a smaller piece of molding. And that's where these other ones come in. So you've got the rounded, maybe a rounded carbide, or your all-way, some all-way tools. It's got a rounded edge on it. And they also have a pack that goes with it with other different profiles. Snap onto the end. These work pretty good on your profile. So on your profile, the rounded one works really good if you have this little dip in area here. It just fits right in the side and you just scrape right along. Fits right in the cup. And it's really good for scraping that edge. As you can see, it fits in there really well. Okay, so for the top portions, what I like to do is I use this crown blade from Speed Heater. It has a bunch of different angles on it. You can see it has a slight curve, rounded edge, another rounded curve, and then a flat edge. This has multiple uses on this piece, so you could stick this pointed area down into the bottom of that curve and it even gets some of the flat here and it works really well to drag across that then as you're coming across the top edge it can go across the top you need to clean out this top edge a little more here you can flip it over on the flat side and clean this top edge here as you can see there's the top edge again. And you can kind of work that around, as you can see here. When it's soft, it'll come off easy. If you're using, say, a speed heater. You wanna usually dry scrape this because you can dig into the wood. So if it's coming off really easy like bubble gum, then you won't damage the wood when it's coming across. And again, we'll give you a close up. See how that fits in there. Drags right across. These work really well. Crown molding. Your profiles are even larger and so pretty much you're using only this one it fits again really good down in the groove pull all that paint off again your flat edge can fit right down in there so it hits the inside and the outside and drags right down and then on your curved edge you can see this fits it really well and you just run down your curved edge with this nice profile blade it runs really good from outside all the way to the inside and you just work it around as you scrape well, all right I just want to give you a really quick overview show the different types of scrapers and their uses Again, we have the speed heater scrapers here. You have the carbide scrapers here. And we gave you an overview of scraping on flat and scraping on crown molding and other profile surfaces. It will hit okay, well, I hope you liked this video on paint scraper types. If you liked it, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. And we'll talk to you next time. Happy scraping. See you guys.